Hey guys, me and um, Travis Parker, and uh, I'm going to review Superman issue number 9, Saving Dinosaur Island. That's it, guys, we're back with Superman and, and with Sam by Dinosaurs. We can start, shall we? Um, I love the cover. The cover is just really cool. <laughs> with um, the, the, the Sergeant and Superman and Superboy, John, John um, Superman's son, fighting Dinosaur and an Ape. <laughs> oh, we're going to be a single cover, too. The car starts out with Superman saying, The Losers. Right, and John Security, who are they? I got a feeling that who are under the battlefield of Great Mark reciting jungle. Yeah, oh, yeah, this picks up issue with the message. With the message it would, crowd, crowd, what's the name on one of the discussion mail tags? And what? Oh, it says, Office of City Services. Who even know what's going on? Superman and John and Crypto are traveling down, down to the island. And these are the, the Losers. The, this, um, team of, 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 from the army. Long story. Um, and we have this guy. Go look at Nick Fury. Get out of my cave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still want to chicken to get ass. Sure, I get it. You already have a welcome? Actually, it is. What is that? Because this guy's trying to kill me since the first time I ran on it. Oh, they the, got the iPads. John said that quote. So what happened after the Paradactyl got to Captain Storm? Took me to the nest and I saw an iron kid try to feed me to his young. Did my best to make those things real. I went on the menu. So I struggled back. <laughs> Basically, this guy tried to get off the iron for years. So I went here. From that moment on, been about only one thing survival. He barely survived. Don't even know how long I've been here. We didn't have anyone like you and the boy on our team. <laughs> At the summer set, the summer set, nine point one. Yeah, so this guy from World War Two, basically. Oh, but wait, this guy went down with the war. The war? Did we whip to Tojo Mail and Missouri? We did. I had nothing to do with it. Citizen soldiers like you and the who just won it and got for that. <laughs> Don't you want to know what day it is? The one that it matters, you man. One look at you and the kid, I know my time's so far gone. It's been not even in the rear view mirror anymore. Yeah, so this guy knows that he's he, got a few men drawing a car from, from the future. You don't know what the tea like anymore. You kind of saw to find together. Oh. Yeah, he's got a murder in his unit. And they're trying to find the, the transporter. I'm going to fast forward because I don't get too much spoilers. But basically, to make a long story short, to it, um, John is afraid that they might never see Mom again. Superman said that quote. The way you act and show yourself like a big guy, sometimes you make me forget. Forget what? Yeah, you're only 10 years old. I promise you, we're going to find the, the thing we are going to get home. When it, you already have any mother, <laughs> you believe me? What happened to you? I said to you, believe me. Aww, that's sweet. <laughs> What's that? Give him a leg up. And Superman gives um, Sword and Storm a leg. Which is cool. <laughs> How do we keep the play and get Judge Eminem? Oh, my me. Oh, oh, um, this guy has been talking about like, how he got got on the island. I won't spoil that more because I want you guys to read it for yourself. And we have Sword and Storm, Crypto, Superman, going to find a chain boat with a pterodactyl. Which is cool. Uh, I think me, me, me and his mate went very after it. Showed her on a. Oh, but it is. You talk about the pterodactyl. Mm hmm. Big nice and time activity. There are no iron volcanic few lava vents on the open side feet on the ocean. I'm not picking up any harmonic tremors. So you got past two, huh? Something like that. And we did a, a banter. And John, John and Sumer are going to find Chenpo. And I think they found it. With this guy. A giant grill. With a lot of weapons.
Yeah, it's I. Right. You look, look just like the one the Aquabus had when I tried to take it on the Coast Guard ship a little while back. Get the eye, boy. The me medicine for it. Yeah, issue two. But anyway, this, this thing had the same loose symbol from the squid. Okay. How are we going to get through all that find the tranquil cube? I'm going to out of time, John. And you see and John like, and so I'm storm chicken ass. <laughs> it's awesome. And get the button then the mine. Uh oh. <laughs> Good thing it's done. And they find the cube. John finds it. Um, you right there, kiddo. Morty, they come it. What you See when John did fight the with an end. See when get the the um thing thing with Jigger out of the girl's eye. They get the cube and they get the chance for it. But before they leave, Superman is going to try to get Sergeant Storm out. But Sergeant Storm says, Don't worry about me, Superman. I'm on the way home. Storm! No! The Wizards always stick together and they get jumped by, by the for the Sergeant. Was that Jean there? Was that Jean? Did Captain Storm die? People don't know usually share dreams, kiddo. Guys are strong or special breed. They don't go down without fighting the good fight. But like right, the crystal well, I don't know, I promise. We'll find find our way back. And we'll we'll put it somewhere. With Sun Storm, I think. And the comic again with next Batman Robin. That's how the comic ends. With this guy staring at this giant eyeball. Okay. Very far as an issue. Honestly, this is a very, very cool story again. I, I really love this great trip to Darwin Cook. This makes me so happy. And this was a great mi mini story arc for Superman and John and Crypto when that's out. <laughs> like, Peter Jamonte, I salute you. Like, this story was amazing. Like, I love the art. The artwork is beautiful. Like, holy shit. Like, I don't. Like, Grayson, Mackie, like, they're always very beautiful, especially, especially with the Sergeant, Sergeant Storm, who, I don't know anything about him, I think, I don't even know about him, I think, through the movie, but the movie is a very underrated movie. What's wrong with people? I like that movie. Um, the always made, the story made, the comic, the, the way, the phrase are made, like, everything about this comic is perfect. This is why I love Superman right now. Superman might be, is doing a miracle, like, holy shit. It's been a main story. It went back basically an old, an old way well, tribute to Darwin Cook. It actually reminded me of a Darwin Cook story. Heck, it even brings references back to um to. I think the, I think the minor thing. I don't know something like that. Like, and it's so cool. This was a great story. I love this comic. Peter Demarzi, I salute you. Anyways, I'm just gonna wrap this up. What do I give Superman issue number nine? I give it, don't please, a five out of five. Perfection, a plus. If you're a fan of Superman, you love this comic. And if you're a fan of John and Crypto, you love this comic. Heck, if you're a fan of the Lords and Quark series, with that, you know, uh, with that review eventually, stay tuned for that. Um, I recommend you get this. It's really good. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Is it is it bad action comics? <laughs> I have no idea. I think Action Comics and Superman are both great in, the, in their own respective stories. And that's what I have to this up. That's my view of Superman issue number 9. Um, please comment a moment on anything about this comic. Do I get to it? Also, I can please pay on Twitter. And please don't subscribe my channel. One more thing. Um, what's your, what, what do you think happened to Sergeant Sword Storm? Do you think he's dead or he's alive? Me personally, I'm hoping he's alive because I like them. He's really cool. He kind of reminds Nick Fury. White Nick Fury, not. Never mind. That's a different topic another day, but he's awesome. Anyways, um.
That's the video stream mention no nine. Um please comment down below. And peace out. Welcome to Superman. Woo! See ya. Bye.